Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another testing review and another beer from uh, the brewery Egelo. This one is the Jubileum Sud from this brewery. It comes in this NRW bottle, as you can see, I have been having the Svickle before from this brewery. Bleibe deiner Heimat treu, trinke Bier von Egerer Breu. Klötbarei Egerer 94431 Bash. And this black label and the monks enjoying their beer. Top label, crown cap, black label with information that we will now read for you later on in the review. Uh, let's start with opening up the bottle and see what this uh, <coughs> jubileum suit is all about. Pour it up, of course. I think this is quite large brewery, actually. Here we have it all. Almost all of it into the glass. Egal eller jubileums sod. Sodaten vasser gas mat top från kulon dunkel lag om. Alko cotton 5.1 percent volume. Some information on the label. See if we can pour up some more of it like that. Let's get the aroma. Which is real nice. Nice and fresh of course. Which is something positive of course. There we have it all into the glass. Here we have the bottle. Now, let's give it a try. The Egerer Jubilum Sud Post. Yeah, nice. Uh, quite malty. Uh, it didn't look, but it was going to be so malty. It looked like a a Hellas or an export in my opinion, but having a real, really rich taste, even though the alcohol content is only uh, 5.1% or only 5.1%. Um, Jubileum's Sud is of course translates to anniversary brew, uh, and it's a quite interesting one. I haven't seen this so often. Uh, the Egerer Jubileus suit, so I hope that you can find it and find out more information about it because it's um, a great tasting one in my opinion, even though the label is looking very boring. I uh, think the labels from this brew difference quite much comparing to uh, which pair style you choose from this brew. For example, this Vickle from this brew had a grey label, which looked definitely different compared to this. But that's it for now. Hopefully, we'll see you again in the next review.